Uh, we at Red Zone Studios with the boy Tricky yeah. Stewart. Yes, sir. What's up, homie? What up, man? Hey, man, you just saw the plaques outside. Over 30 million records sold from Christina Aguilera to The Dream to Beyonce. Yes, sir. Who else? Oh, man, Sierra, Rihanna, Justin Bieber, Celine Dion, JT Money, Too Short. I'm going to stop you right there. There's a rumor that you're the producer of Justin Bieber's biggest songs. That's not a rumor. That's a fact. That's a fact? That's a fact. <laughs> Which two Justin Bieber songs are Red Zone Tricky Stewart Productions? Baby, um, off the new album, and one time off, the, off of his first album. So between those two records, even with um, Baby, that record is the most watched YouTube video in the history of YouTube. So is it gonna be a? That means it's gonna be the YouTube Awards now. I don't know. It's culturally important. I think they're gonna have to figure out a way to really accommodate Justin properly as as he's setting new trends and new ways. It's not the old way, but it's something new. Now we're at Red Zone Studios. We're in the studio right now, and you got a young man sitting next to you. Yes, sir. What's Brian up? J. What up? What up? What up? What up? What's up, world? This is Brian J. It's Brian J. Here at the studio. Big homie Tricky, Greg Street, you know what I'm saying? Just kicking it. <laughs> now you got this record out here with Travis Porter that's going crazy right now. Yeah, man. Let me take you out, you know what I'm saying? Um, record's been Let out for like a little... Let me take you out. <laughs> it's been out for a little over two months, already more than two million views, so it's getting a great look. I'm, I'm really excited about it. So over two million it. views on YouTube, you think over you can beat million. Justin Bieber? You think you can beat Baby? In time. In time. In time. Now where you from? I'm originally from this small town outside of Atlanta called Hawkinsville, Georgia. Very small. But hey, small town. It's about to be big. Hey, hey it's about to be very ja big. Jamie Foxx from Terrell, Brian Texas. Terrell, Texas. And this town the same size as mine. So if he can do it, I can do it. Yeah. I don't know. I heard Hawkinsville only got like maybe 1,500 people. <laughs> we got 1,000, but don't tell them I told you that. But it's all good, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. Mm -hmm. Now, how did this project come about? The project came about... Um, Back when, when things really started taking, you know, blowing up for me and Dream, I had met Brian J because Sean K, one of the producers who's my cousin, um, told me about this artist that he had. And at the time, we were really concentrating on trying to get as many records out there. Didn't really want to stop to do a new artist. But I spoke to him and I was like, listen, man, like, I really mess with you. We really mess with you. And if you could just wait a year, you know, we're going to come back for you. You know, but we had to go get that money, get our <laughs> reputation out there, you know, so people knew that we could really make hits. Because back in the day, if I had a hit, I would always give my next best record to an artist that I was trying to get off. And I never could put no hits together. So what I wanted to do was get hot as a hit maker, then be able to go, you know what, these are the people that I'm messing with. And that's kind of where we at at this moment in time. And Brian J is really the first person that I want to just put out there and say that I'm, you know, like behind him and behind his career and helping him get through the steps of the music business so that he can be here and have a long career. How does it feel to be signed to Tricky Stewart in the Red Zone family and Def Jam? Uh, yeah, man. I mean, it's, it's all a blessing, you know. Um, coming from a small town, a lot, of th a lot of times people think a lot of things are impossible to do, but um, if you work hard at it, I'm definitely an example of you. If you work hard at, it, hard at it, you know what I'm saying, you can definitely accomplish anything. Definitely. Anything you want to tell you know, potential fans, your current fans, about what's going on with Brian J? Oh, man. Um, Warner Robins, August the 6th, which is this Friday. Show at Warner Robins with Travis Porter, DJ um, K-Threat, DJ Smooth. Um, first single, which is out, of course. Um, let me take you out. BrianJ.com. Y'all can download that for free. Also, become a member of Team Brian J. Just put your email in. You send that out. Yeah. And what's your Twitter? Twitter is at Brian J Music. It's B-R-Y-A-N-J-M-U-S-I-C. Now, Tricky Stewart just told you. What was your first big record, Tricky? My first big record was who that? Like JT a, Money. Yeah, I've, I've then what was the it. second big record? Uh, Case, of, Case of the X, Maya. And what's your biggest pop record other than Justin Bieber right now? My biggest pop record right now that's on the chart is my biggest record that I got on the chart right now is Sierra, number two. No, till date. Oh, single ladies. Beyonce. Ladies, yeah. So from Beyonce, now you're currently finishing up Sierra's new album. Yeah. Shouts out to CC. CC in the building. So Red Zone, man. Tricky Stewart. Brian J. What up, what up, what up? I, 
Hey, thanks for coming through, man. Definitely. We appreciate Definitely. the love, appreciate man. appreciate that. Absolutely. Yeah. Great street, street in the building. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. I need that love. Brian J. I need that love. <laughs> Brian J, yo. <laughs> I know Tricky's not on Twitter. He probably owns Twitter. Nah, I don't. <laughs> if I own Twitter, I'm, shit, I'd probably be doing something else. You probably wouldn't even be here with me right now. <laughs> be like, where's Trick at? Trick has bought. Trick is a tricking. World. Oh. <laughs> we need more tricking. He bought a world. <laughs> He's bought a world. Hey, can I live in that world?